Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. If you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. What we have here is a modern wearable from my brain to your hook. Been getting a bunch of requests for flowy oversized pieces on Instagram, you should follow by the way, and I thought why not? If you have any requests, be sure to let me know in the comments below or any place you can find me and I'll see what I can do. P.S. Being subscribed or following helps. If you're not, I'll listen, but if you request a ball gown and lace yarn by next week, you're going to get a side eye. Now, being subbed or following doesn't guarantee I'll do it immediately, but it can have some influence for when it gets uploaded. We post twice a week, so we'll get to it eventually. Speaking of which, we have to make the future. So without further ado, for this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a quarter skein of Lime Brown's Pound of Love in the color Elephant Gray. As for tools, a 5 and a 6.5 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using three stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we are first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain that can wrap around our body. I'll show you where to measure and give you my chain count in a sec, but first I'm going to show you a tip so that our chain doesn't get twisted. We're going to start off by making a chain of five. When we have our five chains, we're going to pull some slack, take out our hook, and insert our hook into the first chain that we made. And then back into that slack loop. And then we're going to continue our chain as normal. Now, I'm going to keep going until I have a chain that measures across my chest where our straps will be. So I'm going to make a chain of 33, and that's 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters. I picked up this tip from TL Yarn Crafts. She posts a lot of great crochet content on YouTube as well, so you guys should check her out. And I'll have her links down below for you guys. Now that we have our chain, we're going to grab our stitch marker and insert it into that last chain that we made. Our next measurement will be from one strap point around our arm to the other strap point along the back. Measure it taut and add two inches, so I'll make an additional chain of 49, and that's 10 inches or 26 centimeters, and insert your stitch marker into that chain. We are back with our armhole chain, and we now need to make a chain for the back. Mine is going to be the same as the front, so I'm going to make another chain of 33 and insert a stitch marker into that last chain. And now that we have our back portion all finished up, we're going to finish this up by making another armhole chain. Mine's going to be the same as the other, so I'll be making another chain of 49 and we'll slip stitch into that first chain to close it off. I am back and I have just finished up going in with the entirety of my chain. I have inserted my stitch marker into that last chain that I have, and now we're going to slip stitch it closed. So if you guys did the tip like me, our hook should already be through the first chain. So all we're going to do is take this loop and pull it through. And from here we have our very long chain. Once we have our chain, we are now going to do a chain up of one and make our way all the way around, putting one single crochet into every chain while inserting our stitch markers back into the same stitches. So let's do the first together. We are going to insert our hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through one. We should have two loops on our hook. From here, yarn over and pull through two. Go ahead and put one single crochet into every chain all the way down until we hit our next stitch marker. We just made our way down to our first stitch marker, putting one single crochet into each of our chains. 
The next thing we're going to do is take out this stitch marker, but don't put it too far. But into this next chain, we're going to be going in with one single crochet. And then we're going to insert our stitch marker back into that stitch. And then make your way down, putting one single crochet into every chain while maintaining putting our stitch markers into those stitches. Once we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of one into that slip stitch and I'll meet y'all back. And now that we have made our way all the way down with our first row of single crochets, making sure that we inserted our stitch markers into the same stitch into the chain. What we are going to do now is just slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did. So all we're going to do is insert our hook into that first single crochet. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And then once when we have that, we're going to start up our next row, which is a chain up of one, and then just another row of single crochets, but these are all going to be in through the back loops. So let's get that started off together. We're going to insert our hook into this first back loop that we have with a regular single crochet. Now we're just doing that so that we can get this really fine ribbing along the edge. So let's do one more. Insert your hook into that next back loop with a single crochet. And then keep doing this going all the way around. Once when we hit our stitches with these stitch markers in them though, go ahead and insert your stitch markers back into there. And then I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with our second row, which was a row of back loop single crochets. And then once when we get here, all we're gonna do is just slip stitch it into that first single crochet that we have into this row. So we're just going to insert our hook into that single crochet, yarn over and pull through everything. And then once when we have this, we are actually going to try this on. And then from where our hook is at, we are going to measure up and over our shoulder over to the other stitch marker that we have along our back. I have already measured mine out so I'm going to start off by making a chain of 45 and that comes out to 10 and a half inches or 27 centimeters. And now that we have our chain what we're going to do is slip stitch it into this stitch that we have along the back. So we're going to insert our hook into here, yarn over, pull through everything do a chain up of one and cut, and then make the same chain along the other side, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with both of our straps, and I also got a little excited and did one entire panel as well. So we can actually do the other side of our panel because the front and the back are going to be done exactly the same way. The first thing we're going to want to do is try on our piece and then we're going to be inserting our stitch markers where we want the body piece to start. I actually want my body piece to be a little bit looser. So from where my straps are, I actually counted out a total of 21 stitches and inserted my stitch markers into both sides. And then from there, I'm going to be working from that stitch marker all the way across to the next. But if you guys want yours to be a little bit more fitted, go ahead and move yours in closer. But once when we have that, we are also going to keep this on and then measure from this point down to where we want the bottom of the top to be. I want mine to be a total of about 14 inches, so I'm going to start off by making a chain of 45. So all I'm going to do is take my 6.5 millimeter hook, insert it into the side stitch marker, insert my yarn onto my hook and start off by making my chain. So now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is go in with a half double. So we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. That counts as a half double crochet. Once we have that, we are going to prepare for a half double and then into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook, Go ahead and go in with a half double crochet. Let's do the next one together. Prepare for a half double. Insert your hook into that next chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through three. And that is our next half double. Go ahead and put one into every chain that we have and I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. 
And now that we've made our way all the way down with our row of half double crochets, we are now ready to slip stitch it into the base. So what we're going to do is count up the next two stitches. We're going to count up one and two, and we're going to slip stitch into that second stitch that we have. Might be a little tough because we're going in with a bigger hook, but it'll go through, I promise. It's going to pull through with a slip stitch. And now that we have that, we are now going to slip stitch up just one more stitch to start up our next row. And now that we're here, we are going to flip our work and then work our way down with a row of back loop single crochets. So let's do the first one together. We're going to insert our hook into that first back loop and single crochet. And we're just going to keep doing this going all the way down and I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. And now that we have made our way all the way down with our row of back loop single crochets, we're going to get started with our next row together, which is going to be a row of back loop half double crochets. So all we're going to do is do a chain up of two and flip our work. From here, prepare for a half double crochet and we're just going to be putting one double crochet into every back loop. And that's it. Go ahead and keep doing this going all the way down. And then we're going to slip stitch it into the base the same way that we just did together. And we are going to alternate between a row of back loop half double and back loop single crochets until we make it all the way across our band until we hit our next stitch marker. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do the other panel together. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our body portion and I ended up having a total of 52 rows. And I know I said that we are going to do the second half of the body portion with each other, but I already have mine done. I'm just going to remind you guys what we are going to do. So since we should already have this side done, we are going to flip our work over. Please pretend that I don't have my second panel already done, but we're just gonna be inserting our hook right where we have our stitch markers. So we're going to be inserting our stitch markers into the same spots that we have on the other side. So we're gonna have just a tiny little arm portion right here. We're going to insert our hook into that stitch that our stitch marker is in and then go in with the same chain length as we have on the other side and then just repeat everything that we did on the other side. So a row of back loop half double, back loop singles and just keep doing that until we hit our next stitch marker and making sure that we have the same amount of rows as the other side and then I'll meet you guys back. Okay, so we are back and we should have just finished up going in with our other body portion and from here we are ready to seam it up so I'm going to need you guys to try this on and then figure out the length that we need to make for our side seam so I have actually already figured mine out and I want my side seam to be a total of 7 inches or 18 centimeters from the bottom so I'm going to have a total of 20 single crochets the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out. And by wrong side out, I mean the ribbing that we did along the top band. We want to make sure that that is flipped downwards. And then once we have that, we're going to be inserting our hook into the corner stitch that we have into the front panel and also into the corner stitch that we have into the back panel. From here, we're going to pull through all of those loops on our hook and do a chain up of one. And now that we're at this point, we're going to go in with a single crochet, making sure we're going in through the front and the back panel at the same time. So let's do the first one together. We're first gonna be inserting our hook into the first available stitch into the front panel and also into the first stitch into the back panel. And then we're going to single crochet. And we are going to keep doing that going all the way up until we have our side seam length that we want. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we just did here on the other side, and then we can go in with our sleeve. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up seaming up both of our sides. And what we are going to do from here is actually try this on because we are going to need to figure out just how long we want our sleeves to be. And I have already figured mine out. So when I try this on, 
from this bottom corner where my side seam is, I measured out the length. Mine is going to be a little bit of a shorter sleeve. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 13, and that comes out to 3.5 inches or 12 centimeters. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert my hook into the first stitch that we have on either side of our side seam. You guys get to pick. But once when we have that, we are going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and start off by making our chain length. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. That counts as a half double crochet. Once when we have our chain up of two, we are going to prepare for a half double and then go into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. And go ahead and put one half double into every stitch, making our way all the way down our chain. Once we've made our way all the way down our chain with our row of half double crochets, we are going to connect it into the base. And this is basically going to be the same thing that we did for the body, so let's get this started off together. Once we make our way down here, we're going to slip stitch it into the second stitch into the base. So we're going to count up one, count up two. Into that second stitch, we're going to insert our hook with a slip stitch. And now our first row is all connected. Our second row is, like before, going to be a row of back loop single crochets. So we're going to insert our hook into that next loop, yarn over, pull through everything, and flip our work. From here, go ahead and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch that we have. And then I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. And now that we have made our way all the way down to the end of our second row, we're now going to get started with our third row together. So all that's going to be is starting off by doing a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. From there, we're going to flip our work, prepare for a half double, and then go into that first back loop with a half double crochet. And we're going to make our way all the way down, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. We're going to connect it into the base the same way that we just did, and also the same way that we did for the front and back panel. But once when we have that down, we're just going to do that going all the way around, just a row of back loop half double crochets and back loop single crochets until we don't have any more stitches left to go into. And then I'll meet you guys back so you can seam it up. So we are back and we have just finished up going all the way around with our sleeve. We don't have any more stitches left to go into, so now we're just going to seam it up. The seam is going to be done the same way that we did the side seam. We just want to make sure that everything is flipped wrong side out so that all of our seams are faced the same direction. Once when we have that, we are now going to insert our hook into the two corner stitches. Since this corner stitch is where my working yarn is, this is my first loop. And then I will also be inserting my hook into the second stitch. And I will also be inserting my hook into the first available stitch into the back loop. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. Once when we have that, we're going to be inserting our hook into the first available stitch into the front panel and into the first available stitch into the back panel. Once when we have that, we're going to single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left to go into. Once when we have that, go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut and then do the same thing that you just did for this sleeve on the other side. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with both of our sleeves. And next we're actually going to clean up the bottom of our sleeve with a row of single crochet and then a row of back loop single crochet. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out. And by right side out, I mean so that you can see this rib that we have along the top border. Once we have that, we're going to be inserting our hook into any one of the loops that we have into the edge of our sleeve. Once we have that, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. From here, we're going to do a chain up of one, and then we're going to be putting one single crochet into each of our side rows that we have. So my first side row is this side half double crochet row. I'm going to insert my hook into that side half double crochet row with a single crochet. My next row is this side single crochet row. So I'm going to Put one single crochet into there and then keep doing this going all the way around when we don't have any more loops left to go into we're going to slip stitch into that chain up of one space that we just made and then i'll meet you guys back now that we have put one single crochet into each of our side rows our next row is going to be a row of back loop single crochets 
So we have already slip stitched into that chain up of one space that we made. So from here, we're going to do another chain up of one. And then in the same direction that we were going, we're going to start to go in with back loop single crochets. So we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop that we have with a single crochet. Let's do the next one together into that next back loop, single crochet. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down once when we make our way down. And we're going to keep doing this going all the way down. Once we don't have any more stitches left to go into, do a slip stitch into that chain up of one space, do a chain up of one and cut, and do the same thing that we just did here on the other side. So we just finished our sleeves, and if you like this look, then you're done. But if you want something a bit more versatile, you can do what I'm doing, which is make a cute bow tie. And to do that, insert your five millimeter hook into here, take out your temporary strap, and make a chain that's exactly half of your temporary strap plus 15. So I'm going to make a chain of 20. Plus 15. And cut. Pro tip, you can take your tapestry needle and weave in your ends, which I typically don't do for straps, but this gives a cleaner look that I like. And do this three more times, and you're done. And now that we have just finished up our straps, we are officially all done. So go ahead and just weave in all of your ends. We will win in our ends, and you're finished. I love how stylish I feel wearing this piece, but my favorite part has to be the straps. They give so much versatility. I happen to like both straps somewhere in the middle, whereas she favors one strap high and the other low. Let me know who you think is right in the comments below or how you'd wear it. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us your most used app. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.